The incredible comeback of Brontosaurus. The dinosaur that never was. Hey, Science Deli fans! Do you remember the Brontosaurus, the huge, long-necked dinosaur that you probably learned about in school or saw in cartoons? Well, what if I told you that for a long time, scientists thought that this dinosaur never existed? And what if I told you that they were wrong, and that Brontosaurus is back from the dead? That is right, you heard me. Brontosaurus is a real dinosaur, and it's not the same as Apatosaurus, the name that was given to it for over a hundred years. How did this happen, you ask? Well, let me tell you. It all started in the late 1800s, when a paleontologist named Othniel Charles Marsh discovered the first fossil of a Brontosaurus in Wyoming. He named it Brontosaurus, which means, Thunder Lizard, because of its enormous size and weight. It was about 22 meters long and weighed up to 15 tons. Two years earlier, Marsh had also found another fossil of a similar dinosaur in Colorado, and he named it Apatosaurus, which means, Deceptive Lizard, because it had some features that confused him. It was slightly smaller and lighter than Brontosaurus, but still very impressive. However, in 1903, another paleontologist named Elmer Riggs examined the fossils and concluded that they belonged to the same genus, and that Brontosaurus was just a younger and bigger version of Apatosaurus. He argued that according to the rules of scientific naming, the first name given to a species should be the official one, and that Brontosaurus should be discarded. And so, for more than a century, Brontosaurus was erased from the history of dinosaurs, and Apatosaurus took its place. Many textbooks, museums, and media followed this decision, and Brontosaurus became a synonym for Apatosaurus, or a mistake. But wait, there is more. In 2015, a team of researchers from Portugal and the UK decided to revisit the fossils of Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus, and compare them with other sauropods, the group of dinosaurs that they belong to. They used a method called phylogenetic analysis, which is a way of reconstructing the evolutionary relationships among organisms based on their physical and genetic traits. They looked at hundreds of features in the bones of Brontosaurus, Apatosaurus, and 81 other sauropods, and they found that Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus were actually different enough to be considered separate genera. They had different shapes of the neck, the hips, the tail, and the legs, and they probably lived in different habitats and ate different plants. They also found that there were many more types of sauropods than previously thought, and that they were very diverse and complex. Sauropods were the largest land animals that ever lived, and they dominated the Earth for over 100 million years. So, after a long and controversial journey, Brontosaurus was resurrected as a valid dinosaur, and it regained its rightful place in the family tree of sauropods. It was a case of mistaken identity that was finally corrected by science. So, there you have it. Brontosaurus is a dinosaur, and it's not the same as Apatosaurus. It is a unique and amazing creature that deserves our respect and admiration. And it is not the only one. There are many more dinosaurs that are waiting to be discovered, studied, and named and they might surprise us with their secrets and stories. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome science facts. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Science Deli.